BBC Music introducing with Christian Carlisle. BBC Radio Sheffield. around the UK. BBC Music introducing. Introducing. Supporting new and emerging artists across the BBC. Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to another BBC Music Introducing on Radio Sheffield till 10 o'clock this evening with myself, Christian Carlisle, taking you through the best of South Yorkshire and North Derbyshire's music scene, like I do every Saturday. Thank you so much for joining us on the show tonight. How you all been this week? It is starting to get a bit nippy out there, isn't it, people? You know how you know it's cold? You see me no longer wearing shorts. That is the turning point of the year. You see me in a pair of trousers, you can finally put the heating on. So much great music coming up on the show tonight to keep you warm, keep you dancing, keep you moving. We kicked off the show with Charlotte Branson. Sneak peek of the new track from Charlotte, which marks the beginning of a new sound for her. Musically, she takes influence from the likes of Etta James and Aretha Franklin, while lyrically, her influences come from Lana Del Rey and Amy Winehouse, playing at the Washington on the 15th with Boone's Tunes and Light Tide, every bit as good live as she is on record. We followed that up with Emma Saville, uh, Free Falling is the name of the track, which is about gradually letting your barriers down, learning to trust on a deeper level, falling in love, and really letting that person 
person in, something which is harder than ever to do in increasingly materialistic society. Some DJ Fresh vibes on the production here and a really powerful vo vocal performance. Right, let's get on with the show, shall we? We've got some BBC Radio Sheffield. Upload with Ellie Colton. Mabel, and don't call me up on BBC Radio Sheffield. Right, then it's time for our first uploader of the evening. I am such a fan of this girl. She is stunning and talented. What more could you possibly want? Emma Savile, of course, is the woman I'm talking about. She's from Sheffield, and she sent in her brand new track, Ghost. Okay, so she says she wrote it after realising how many of her male friends were struggling in silence concerning their mental health especially since the pandemic and the track is also about battling those inner demons and the process of slowly letting the light in she says i hope it reduces the stigma around mental health particularly for men and also hope it moves your head heart and feet all right emma we're going to chat to her after we've heard it but right now this is emma savile with ghosts on bbc radio sheffield Savile there with Ghosts on BBC Radio Sheffield and she joins me now. Good evening, Emma. Hi, Ellie. How are you? Thanks very much for having me. How's oh, your week been? Yeah. Oh, it's been so good. Thank you. How's your week been? 
Yeah, good, enjoying the sunshine while we've still got it. Oh, I know, trust me. Do you know what? It's weird, isn't it? Because we sh we're feeling quite cold, but it is sun shining at the moment. I was taking my pug Luna on quite a few walks this week and taking pictures of her sunbathing oh. in a pumpkin outfit, of course, because I'm one of these people that's, like, ready for Halloween straight <laughs> away. But I'm not going to start talking about Luna because when I do, I can't stop. And this is your moment, Emma. We've not spoken so long. I love the track. Tell me all about it. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, like you said in the introduction, I think I wrote it in January, uh, January, February, kind of after meeting up with several of my guy mates and kind of all of them were saying they were really struggling with their mental health. So I think, you know, obviously everyone has over the pandemic, but I think statistically men apparently find it much harder to ask for help. Um, and I think lots of my male mates have said they've been struggling because, you know, when they do meet their male mates, it's more... You know, kind of like um, they're just meeting up for drinks and they don't really get into kind of anything deep. So unless they had girlfriends or partners in their lives or women who were close to them, they were kind of feeling that they were struggling in silence when obviously that hasn't been the case. So, yeah, so I wanted to write a song about kind of raising awareness really and, and what it's like, you know, when you're kind of struggling with your mental health and coming through the other side and like letting the light in. Yeah, of course. Well, good for you in doing that. Have any of your male friends managed to take a listen and react to it? What are their thoughts? Yeah, I've had really amazing feedback, actually, from um, all over the world. I mean, I think the pandemic's been, you know, positive of the pandemic has been how growing an online community of, of creatives and people all over the world. So that's meant a lot to me to hear people connecting, like, with my songs. And my latest single, Anxiety Now, is also about with anxiety so i think you know i've just felt really grateful to have a platform where i can hopefully raise some awareness about issues that i care about how important is that though that's so brilliant and even though you have got an incredible following on social media like you say it is a worldwide thing you put it on the internet anybody can see it but you're not just you know you don't just have uk heritage do you or you don't just sing in english tell people a little bit about yourself i think you've got some brazilian vibes hidden in there emma <laughs> yeah, so my, my family is Greek, Italian, French, uh, but I've also got family in Peru and I lived in Latin America for a couple of years. So in Brazil and Cuba and Costa Rica, so I speak Spanish and Portuguese. So I released a couple of songs in Portuguese last year um, and I've got a couple of songs that have got like a verse or something in Spanish. So people do keep saying, they're like, you need to write, release a song in Spanish. So. I'll get there at some point. <laughs> I know what a talent. What, what's the one called where you did it like half in English, half in, was it Spanish? I really like that one. It, that was like, I could shake oh, my bum to that. <laughs> <laughs> That's called uh, Nostalgia uh, or Nostalgia. So it's in, yeah, half in Brazilian Portuguese and half in English. See, you yeah. are well, drawing well, our attention to serious topics and also letting us wiggle our bum, Emma. That's why you're so good. <laughs> you just mentioned your track about anxiety there. Obviously, you need to send that in, but have you got any more tracks in the works? I know we've not got long left of this year. We've got about eight months. Ah, scary. Eight months, eight weeks. How scary is that? Eight yeah. months. I can't even remember where we are in the year, but have you, are you going to be releasing anything else this year? Uh, yeah, I am. I've got um, a track coming out on the 18th of November called Free Falling, um, which is actually, it's kind of like a liquid drum and bass track, so a bit of a different sound for me, mm -hmm. um, but still with like a powerful kind of soul vocal, because um, people said they one thing they really liked about Ghost, because it's like trap fusion, they didn't really expect the soul vocal on top of a trap beat, so a producer got in touch and was like, have you ever thought about writing a liquid track? And I was like, well, I did use to love drum and bass, so mm -hmm. let's give it a go. <laughs> So, and then um, I've got some other tracks in the pipeline as well that will be released in the new year. Well, I'm very excited for you. Are we going to be able to see you perform anywhere? Yeah, um, so I've got a gig at the uh, Washington on the 2nd of November, and then I'm performing at the Lead Mill on Wednesday the 16th of November. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be that week particularly <laughs> will be busy, but I'm looking forward to it. Blooming heck, you better make sure that you're in bed early with your lemon tea the nights before those, otherwise you're going to be exhausted. No partying for you, jokes, I'm not a killjoy. Also remind people where they can find you online as well. Yeah, sure. So if you search um, Emma Savile on all streaming platforms, so Savile's S-A-V for Victor, I double L-E, or Emma Savile Music on all socials. And yeah, come say hi, and it's what I always love to connect with people. <laughs>